Deconverted man here. This is all random atheist guy's fault. Why? Why would you send me this video? So, atheist ka, really, has more questions atheists won't answer. Uh, apparently, a follow up to a different video that now doesn't exist because he took it down because atheists were confused. He sets up by saying you must accept this false dichotomy. Here's your two choices. If you're not going to accept those, then I have no time for you. So in other words, accept my loaded proposition that I'm about to make or I'm never even going to talk to you or respond to you at all, which means he will never actually respond to this video because I won't accept a false dichotomy. Moving on from that logical fallacy and upright Game stopper because he offers to debate live, which I would be happy to debate you, atheist killer. But you won't debate me for, well, first of all, because I didn't accept your false dichotomy, and secondly, because you probably wouldn't agree to the fair conditions that I would want for the debate to take place. You probably also wouldn't agree to the topic that I have in mind, nor would you agree to even negotiate that topic. Why do I think that all of these things are true? Because you've set up a false dichotomy and already told me that if I don't accept it, you don't care. That's the sign of a closed mind. Feel free to prove me wrong. I will accept a debate from you and the question will be negotiated. It will be hosted on my channel. My brother, who is a Christian, will moderate. He will have control over my channel and be able to moot either of us at his whim and discretion. Uh, we will have a set time period to make our opening argumentations, whatever they might be. We'll have rebuttals, at least two rounds of them, any final conclusion with some thoughts, and then we will take Q&A from whatever audience we might have. You won't agree to any of this because it's way too fair. Anyways, so moving on from your false dichotomy, and our acceptance of the false dichotomy, you ask us a series of questions, which honestly, I got to question three before I just stopped the video because there's really no point for me to continue. Every single one of these questions is loaded, assumes a lot about science, assumes a lot about reality, and assumes that we can answer these questions within the false dichotomy that you present. You load these questions and try to stack them in your favor making them impossible to answer in any way, shape, or form. It's just not that I won't answer it, it's that I can't answer it. It's as if I asked you, atheist killer, when was the last time you didn't kill an atheist? See, by answering that question, you imply that you did at some point kill an atheist in real life. So there's really no way for you to answer that question other than unpacking that question, which is what we know as a loaded question. The question itself is unfair. You ask a number of questions about cosmology and how we know what we know or how did things begin and things like this. And then go on to make a statement about the Big Bang and that we all accept that. Well, why wouldn't we? That's science. That has nothing to do with atheism. And if you think it does, then you're way off kilter already. This is a problem frequent with some, but not all, fundamentalists and particularly it seems to be more of a problem in Christians or maybe it's just that we hear more from Christians than we do Hindus and Muslims on YouTube but nonetheless the problem is I'm going to associate and causate that things about science that I don't think fit in the Bible equal atheism because reasons and it's nothing more than an appeal to your particular doctrine that you're basing these ideas on the big bang has nothing to do with atheism it is purely a scientific theory that's it, it has nothing to do with skepticism it has nothing to do with atheism agnosticism or whether there's a god or not if there is a god it would have had to use the big bang which is better labeled as the big expansion and it seems like you don't really understand the science behind it which should come as no surprise to any of us watching this video
Have you done any research at all into the Big Bang? You make grandiose claims that you can prove number of facts that you throw out there left and right, but I hear no proofs forthcoming. If you really had proofs of any sort, then simply publish a scientific paper, have it peer-reviewed, and get your Nobel Prize for a discovering or unraveling something that science has never done before. But you won't do that because you don't have anything. If all you really had is a logically coherent argument, then you would simply present that. It's not about falsifying atheism by making it impossible to answer a question. That's ridiculous. I could do the same thing. Where did God come from? Well, God didn't come from anywhere, so it's a meaningless question for you. Fine. How does God think? What is God made out of? How long did God exist before other things started to exist? You might object to that last one saying, well, there's no time frame. Very well, how can an entity do anything if there is no time to do it in? These are questions that you cannot answer. How is it that a God become flesh allows for sin to be transferred to that flesh so that it, when it dies, the sin dies with it? How does that mechanism work? That's a question you can't answer. I could go on. It's easy to come up with questions that you, as a Christian, or as any theology person, could not or would not answer, either because it's not provided for in the holy book that you read, or simply because the only answer that is honest is, I don't know. And rather than being honest and saying, I don't know, you'd rather just not answer the question at all. I'll be courageous enough and say I don't know to every single one of your questions because they're loaded and there's no other answer I can give, but also to say that your mishandling and misunderstanding of science is such that even if I was to attempt to answer the questions, you would miss the point because you simply don't have the basic knowledge required to understand the answers in the first place. As far as logic goes, I scoff at the idea that you even have a clue to what logic is, but again, you're, feel, you're free to prove me wrong by debating me. Of course, before you do, I'd like to ask you, without looking at your screen, if you can tell me what a uh, hypothetical syllogism is off the top of your head, or what some of the rules of negative persuasionary dialogue are. Perhaps you can give me a modus ponius or a syllogism to go on without looking up any of those terms on Google. Now, of course, you might look them up on Google and then tell me the answers and I'll have no way to know that you did that. You will be the only one to know that you are a cheater in that case. But see, I'm courageous enough to admit when I don't know something. The question is, are you? Atheist killer, I'm deconverted man. My friends call me Dan Green. You call me deconverted man.